Hey my collective lovies, welcome to your message. This video is for all signs, all placements. Thank you guys for joining me. Talk to me in the comments. Let me know how you're doing today. Um, thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. And let's go ahead and get into your message. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, give me clear messages for my collective lovies. All signs, all placements. Thank you so much for blocking and bonding all negative energy, entities, witchcraft, and wickedness that may be coming up against this channel or our lives. Give us messages of clarity, truth, love, and life. And thank you so much for victory in every situation we may face. Amen. Let's see. What is coming toward my collective? What's happening here? So we got be bold and make the first move here. You're being encouraged to step out on faith. Take a chance. Make the first move to bring your dreams into a reality. To turn your dreams into a reality. To bring your dreams into fruition. Okay, then we have prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. So you do have some great things that lie ahead for you. I hear a siren. So you could be facing some type of um, troubling situation or there could be some type of conflict. Something could be happening in your energy where it needs to be resolved. We have adjustments are required. Third moon and, and um, oh, it says third quarter moon. All right, so adjustments are required here in a certain situation. But prosperity lies ahead. So I feel like in order to get this prosperity or this victory, um, there has to be some adjustments made. And I feel like something could be changing in your energy or in your life at this time. You're very close to achieving your goals. So there's something that you're setting out to do or something that you want. And spirit in the universe are encouraging you to step out on faith, to trust yourself, make their proper adjustments. Because you do have this prosperity that lies ahead, meaning I feel like you're getting ready to get what you're seeking, what you've been working so hard for is right here. You're very close to achieving your goals. So you're very close, too close to turn around now, too close to give up, guys. So don't give up, okay? Taurus may need to hear that. Then we also have step outside of your comfort zone. So I feel like something could be happening in your energy absolutely to pull you out of your comfort zone. I feel like something, the somebody, some somebody or something could have rocked the boat enough to make you very uncomfortable, enough to make you change something, make adjustments, or do something toward your goal. Okay. Last but not least, we have it is time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. So I got my Scorpio and my Taurus on the board. Okay. I feel like Spirit is definitely wanting you to be positive about this um, and also to be excited about what's coming. I feel like there is a need for you not to doubt yourself or speak doubt into your situation because what you think is what's going to happen, okay? So whatever you believe is what's going to become in this situation. So if you believe you're going to be successful and have a positive outcome, you will. So I feel like Spirit is telling you to be bold and make the first move and don't just wait. Also, be positive, okay? No matter whether you can see a solution or not, something is going to happen in your favor here. As long as you make the proper adjustments, prosperity lies ahead for you and you're close to achieving your goals. So let's see what your feelings are about this situation that's surrounding you. For my collective lovies, all signs, all placements, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Gods, your spirit guides are here. Feel like your spirit guides are here to guide you. Some type of divine masculine or masculine energy around you. There's something here about this person though. Maybe these two are encouraging you to step outside of your comfort zone and do the things that you need to do. Alright, we have the intuition card here. Somebody could feel like their intuition is blocked with the third eye and clarity card coming out in reverse. I feel like right now somebody's intuition could be blocked. Or you could be not noticing something regarding a commitment or some type of home and family situation. I feel like it's something that you're not paying attention to. Something that you're not noticing here. Show me more. Freedom, leap of faith in the reverse. Twin flame in the reverse. So somebody could be... Wow. Y'all, this could be some type of karmic energy around you. Something that you can't trust. Or let's, let me see if my cards are all mixed up. No, they're not. These cards are coming out in the reverse. Okay, so we're about to clarify and see why these cards are here. 
Yeah, but I'm feeling like there's something that you may be missing about some type of family dynamic or situation regarding a relationship or something of that nature. Also, twin flame in reverse. So this could be some type of karmic situation here. Um, and the new beginning is in the reverse. So maybe there's somebody here that already has a relationship or a family that they're trying to come in. But I feel like, what is this? Why is this stuff in reverse? Let's find out. There's a lot of attraction between you and somebody. But I feel like this person could be thinking about you. But honestly, they can't be trusted. So let me see. So adjustments are required. Maybe it's calling for you to release something. Release this situation or get this person out of your energy. It's time to release negativity. I feel like that also needs to be adjusted. The way you're thinking about the situation. You're very close to achieving your goals. So... I wouldn't spend a lot of time feeling like you're not going to make it. First, let's cl clarify these cards at the top. With prosperity lies ahead. What is this for my collective? All right. So there may be a need for you to reevaluate a situation or somebody is going to reevaluate a situation regarding you. All right. But this is saying prosperity lies ahead. So whether it's something that you're walking away from or something that is be being looked at again or in under review i feel like either way it's a win-win outcome for you because prosperity lies ahead for you either way so whether this is a missed opportunity i feel like this is a blessing all right i feel like something that may seem like it's not so good is good all right but it's a need for you to make the proper adjustments or you're gonna miss this i feel like look your third eye your intuition is blocked something you're not seeing here about this opportunity feel like this is something positive that's happening. Why is the third eye in reverse? Wheel of Fortune. So, okay. So, somebody is something that you're supposed to miss. I feel like because you're focused on your prosperity and you have a lot of bright goals and dreams coming into fruition, somebody here is not allowed to come with you. I feel like it's something here. An opportunity that somebody is presenting with you to you but usually this is a gift from God and I feel like you're refusing this it's like you don't want this one you have these here that you're focused on it's like you have already have three things that you're focused on so this may be a missed opportunity for you but I feel like prosperity lies ahead it's more to come or I feel like your hard work is gonna pay off either way I feel like somebody has it's like your it's like you already have a lot going on, basically. It looks like you already have a lot going on. So this, I feel like you, this is something that may be a missed opportunity. I feel like this person is sneaky anyway, and it's a karmic. So somebody here needs to avoid this karmic situation. We also have twin flame in reverse and ace of wands in reverse telling you do not do this. Step outside of your comfort zone, make the first move. So I feel like maybe you need to tell somebody. It's time to release negativity. Full moon and Scorpio. Maybe a Scorpio needs to release some negativity here. Or a toxic tie. Or maybe somebody needs to release a Scorpio. But your intuition is blocked. You're not using your intuition in this situation. It's somebody you don't need to be around. So it's like be careful who you have in your energy. Yeah, this is a warning for you and this person. Whoever this is that's in your energy. A brand new start or something like that. You don't want that. It's something that's going to hold you back and stunt your growth. Show me. Show me more, please, Spirit. Show me adjust. What is this Seven of Swords in reverse? What's being revealed? Oh, that you need to. This person has secrets that you already know about. It's like they're keeping you a secret and also they're not telling you everything about their situation it's somebody that's trying to put you in a karmic connection a karmic tie trying to trip you up it's a trap all right so spirit is saying close this cycle with this person it could be an air sign or a water sign for some of you show me clear messages with this family card what is this commitment I feel like this person already has yeah the fool in reverse this person is being a fool. This person already has a family or a commitment. Something that they're building with somebody else. Show me twin flame. Wow, justice flew on the floor in the reverse. 
Oh, so that was that must not have been justice. Here's justice right here. This twin flame energy wants you really bad. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I feel like you don't have you have lack of foresight when it comes to this person. It's like you don't see yourself moving forward with this person. It's just like, no, this person is working really hard trying to get you to choose them. And I feel like this is passion in the reverse. This could be for somebody, it could be for somebody, it could be an earth sign. Four of Pentacles is somebody that could be holding on to you or you're holding on to an earth sign. But I feel like there's not going to be any future in this situation because this person already has a family. They're not able to go on a full-blown new beginning. They're able to have fun with you, yes, but they can't go on a new beginning. I feel like you see, you felt the fact that they were lying or something is, it's like your intuition is not seeing that this person is karmic. This person is very charming and I feel like you're not seeing past their lies. So it's a need for you to look a little bit deeper. This person is lying to you. Ace of fire in reverse. All right, so I feel like somebody is not making a decision to go down this path and that is good. You're not, it's like you're, this is not a good situation. The chariot in reverse, all right, not moving forward, no positive movement forward. This could have something to do with the Pisces. Somebody is getting left out in the cold from a recognized victory. It's a need for somebody to set firm boundaries and stand your ground. I feel like you've been through a lot. Somebody has been through hell and back. And it's like, I keep going through these situations. It's something for you to learn here. I feel like there has been opportunity after opportunity for you to fix this or respond to some message or something like that. You're replaying messages or a conversation over in your head or somebody is. I feel like you thought about everything that this person was telling you in their lies. So somebody feels guarded against this energy because this person lied. Show me the fool in reverse. A king of cups here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That feels betrayed or you're betraying somebody. Okay, somebody could feel betrayed by a king of cups energy. Or this king of cups feels betrayed. Alright, this is a karmic situation. So freedom, opportunities, a leap of faith is in the reverse. Somebody is being encouraged to be strong during this time. You're not able to move forward in a certain situation or somebody is not going to be able to move forward toward you. This could be a Leo here being encouraged to be strong at this time when it comes to you not being able to have the be new beginning or the outcome that you wanted with a particular person. Show me adjustments are required, spirit. Adjustments are required for you to get this blessing that is due to you. I feel like spirit is trying to bless you with something. This person is going to end up in lack. The person that's trying to lie to you or this person is in lack. I feel like somebody wants to feed off your energy. You know what I mean? Because I feel like they need abundance too and you're abundant. Somebody wants to benefit from your blessings. Okay? I feel like that's why this person is around. Yeah, the Spirit is telling you not to move forward toward this person or don't talk to them. Somebody who is messaging you, they may keep coming towards you. This person is trying to juggle you. And I feel like this person is trying to benefit from whatever you have. It's like they're, they're a leech. You're very close to achieving your goal. Moving away from the conflict. Moving on to calmer waters. I feel like... With this Six of Swords, I feel like it's only a matter of time before you figure everything out. I feel like there's a lot that you have to work through, but you'll get there. But time is of the essence because just like you see in this picture, these swords are eventually going to cause the boat to sink. All right. If you don't get them out and prepare the problem soon enough. So, yeah, you're moving on to calmer waters. But these situations, I feel like it's saying that the problems are temporary. Um, all it takes is for you to sort through each one, one by one. So it's like this person will have to patch each hole up one by one if they really want to get far. So I feel like you're going to be able to work out whatever confusion this is. One, one step at a time. Step out of your comfort zone with the lover situation, making a choice on sincere feeling, feeling doing what's right. And I feel like you're going to heal from whatever this is. The lovers is also good news. It's positive movement forward. 
So is the star letting you know that you are blessed by the divine. Everything is going to work out in your favor. Even though it may seem like it's not, somebody feels really, really betrayed and let down. Somebody feels like trapped in their head trying to figure everything out. It's like hard for you to wrap your head around all this, but you know that you have to walk away or release this situation. I feel like now you see this person for the liar that they are or you will. Time to release negativity. Could be a Taurus that I'm talking to. Needs to help, bal I mean, needs to balance your life or it's time for you to balance your life. With this two of pentacles, I'm feeling like it's time for you to balance your life. For some of you, they see you are an empress, but they're still trying to juggle you. And I feel like this person is karmic. Not only are they going through karma, but they're a very karmic person. I feel like they're a cheater and a liar and they do whatever it takes to get what they want. Yeah. Five of Swords, this person is very underhanded, lying, tricking you, doing whatever they got to do to get what they want from you. So very, be very careful, okay? This person is toxic, all right? This is toxicity here. This is something that makes you feel helpless or weak, and this is not what you want, okay? So that's what we have here, collective. I feel like this is very much a person that you need to distance yourself from, stay away from. This person definitely wants to feed off your energy. This person is going through hell in their own life. I feel like their life is all over the place. And spirit wants you to get out of this situation. All right. Give freely, support others. Give expecting nothing in return. So I feel like this is what this person sees you as though. I feel like this is what this person sees when they see you. And this is what they expect for you to give freely, for you to give to their situation. Look at this, what's underneath. Spirit wants you to stand your ground. Because I was just about to say, what should the collective do? What do you want to see them do um, as far as this person or this situation? Okay? Stand your ground. Firm boundaries are needed to be in place now. Focus on your wish fulfillment, what you want. And stay single if you have to. And use your intuition when it comes to these people. This is my single card. And this could also represent um, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Okay, but use your intuition, page of cups. Somebody also could be showing you love or bringing an apology to you. All right, guys, so this is your message. Thank you guys for being here with me. And if you want a personal reading, you can um, book your own reading at closer the number two, mydestiny.com. I will see you guys in the meantime, in between time. Love on yourselves, love on each other, and love on me in the comments. Um, and yeah, book your reading now. Thank you guys. Love you. And I mean it. Bye.